Alright, we are back on the road once more because today we are going to be picking up not one, but two sealed jungle booster boxes. That's right baby, I'm going to be driving to Nottingham and back to pick up these two boxes and this Saturday, this Saturday, 2pm UK time, I'm going to be doing a live box break and selling all the packs for you guys. Yes, that is right. Ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday at 2pm BST, we are going to be holding the first ever Pokeram break with two sealed jungle booster boxes baby we've got 36 packs in each box and guys these are going to be for sale tonight at 6 p.m bst okay so uk time 6 p.m these are going to be for sale on pokeran.net make sure you check out the link in the description if you're interested the price is going to be 250 pound per pack with a max purchase limit of two per customer there are some huge cards in jungle such as snorlax that wasn't a pun i swear the first appearance of all three evolutions so flareon jolteon and Vaporeon, how could I forget? Kangaskhan, Scyther, Pidgeot, the list goes on. So what can you expect when you buy a pack from the Pokemon Break? First of all, you're gonna get a guaranteed unweighed booster pack, okay? These are super hard to come by, especially when you're looking at boxes this old. For example, on eBay, if someone says that a booster pack is unweighed, there's no way of guaranteeing that. They themselves might be lying, but even if they're not lying, the person that they bought the pack from could be lying. So there's no way of truly knowing, but this Saturday, you're gonna see me break the seal of these boxes together with you guys live on stream, as you can see me right now. No edits, no cuts at all. It's gonna be fully transparent you guys know how much i love the community and the hobby of pokemon you guys know you can trust me we're gonna do this properly okay this is randolph pokemon the cards that you get from your pack and the pack wrapper itself will be carefully put into sleeves top loaders and then into a team bag sealed with a tamper-proof sticker, which means that there's no way of someone opening that without you seeing the uh, evidence on there. You're gonna get a shout out as well. So when you do purchase a pack from the website, you'll be contacted by myself on email to see what you want to be shouted out as. And if you don't know what to put, just put your friend's name or shout out to your mum or something like that. And the most exciting part, at least for me, is you're gonna be part of Pokeran history, the first ever box break. But also, it's just gonna be so much fun, man. We've got the Sidemen boys as well. Simon, Josh, Ethan, Kalux, Freezy have all purchased a pack. So yeah, I really can't wait, man. This Saturday, 2 p.m. live on this YouTube channel. Make sure you're ready for it. I wanna see as many of you guys in there but for now enjoy the rest of the video where i go and actually pick up these booster boxes and go through some of my old cards at my parents house in the car now ready to make some moves it's a three hour journey to my parents honestly i forgot how long it was three hours there and back today all right yo leave a like man the work i'm putting into this channel is insane right now sleepless nights driving across the country to find these boxes the investment but i would not change it for the world okay i love doing this i've never been more passionate i've never worked so hard in my life but anyway enough waffle i'm getting too emotional these days it's got to stop today i'm in a mistake these e clash you know Jeez. But yeah, here's the plan, okay? Drive to my parents, pick up the two boxes, see my mum, okay? Because you guys know how much my mum means to me. Love my mum. She just had an operation as well. She just had a really important hip operation, so I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Obviously, we're gonna keep secure in terms of COVID. But yeah, hopefully you guys like these vlogs, okay? It's nothing you usually see with Pokemon channels, especially Pokemon card-related channels, but we're vlogging, man. We're gonna go pick up some Watsy, some vintage Pokemon booster boxes, Jungle, one of the most iconic sets of the TCG ever, and we're gonna be opening it live this Saturday. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Make sure you guys get your packs they're gonna go quick but at this price as well you better be ready okay god damn it what is that that's my hand for scale it's massive hey we've got we've got a distance this is my tray yeah i've got i've got a tray with mcdonald's on with a tea towel in it look at this service it's amazing look at this the door's changed the door's white now last time i came here the door was Brown, I think. Oh, you've done the stairs finally as well. Whoa. Yo, I haven't seen these white in about 12 years. It's my house though, it's where I grew up. It's my room right here. Uh, actually, this was my first room. This is my first room. So this is different now, obviously. This is where the Pokemon, oh my gosh, look, this is, all right, yo, in this vlog later on, I'm gonna show you my old Pokemon. Look, bro, this is why I love Lugia. Oh my gosh. I gotta go through all my old Pokemon toys, man. Look at this. Yo, yo. Thing is, my niece has stolen them, you know. But anyway, that was my first room when I was real young. And when my brothers and sisters all went to uni and that, uh, I went into this room. Oh, someone's asleep. You didn't tell me Uncle Barry was asleep in bed. And anyway, my mum's here. She had an operation, though, so she's not gonna have camera. Everyone's always asking you to show your collection. Ooh. So I'll show you in a minute, shall I? Your new one. All right, here we are. This is the reason that we are here. We have in this box, well, hopefully, two, there we go, two Wizards of the Coast Jungle Booster Boxes, baby, that we are gonna be opening as a community this Saturday. Let's go. There we go, baby. My first time seeing them. Check them out in a second. Make sure they're all legit. My dad did the hard work, though. <laughs> Show them how to do it. Um, 
But yeah, there we go. This one's a little bit battered. As you can see, the corners aren't as sharp as this one. This one's completely tight, but we are gonna be opening the boxes. These are not for display pieces. As much as I would love to keep these, we're gonna open them up. Damn, here we go. This one looks perfect. This is a really nice conditioned box. Are you ready to explore the jungle? <laughs> yes, we are, baby. Yes, we are. We've got Vile Plume and we've got Saita. Let's go. Saita Energy on the front. And again, this box is not as mint. A little bit beaten up. Not too bad, it's just got a bit of like a buffed edge there. So yeah, guys, 6 p.m. tonight, these will be on sale. Make sure you pick them up. We're gonna start with one box. If we sell out, I'll restock the second box. If we don't, we'll hold this one for another week. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully, we'll do them both. Check them out, 6 p.m. tonight. We're gonna do it big, baby. So unfortunately, I can't really stay at my parents for too long, but before we do go, we're gonna look at a few things, okay? First of all, we're gonna look at some of my old binders to see what I've got, and then we're gonna look at my mom's binder and to see her collection. Because you guys keep asking to see my mom's collection, but what you guys don't understand is, her collection is what she gave to me, you know, her buying all the booster boxes back in the day, helping me and my brother fill our sets. That was like her role, so she didn't keep them, she gave them to us, you know, which is obviously amazing, but that's what mums do, and uh, that's why we appreciate our mums, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's go look at some of the cards. All right, and here we go. Here is my mum's Darkness of Blaze binder, okay? So since Darkness of Blaze came out, my mum's been working on putting this binder together, and she's actually finished it. Look at that, Charizard V Max, Charizard V. She's completed it. Can you believe it? Can you believe my mum? <laughs> my mum has finished the binder before I did. You need to get some more. Oh, you got a white sleeve and a blue sleeve. Oh, you gotta fix that mum to make it consistent. There we go. We've got the waters, the electrics. We've got the Mew, beautiful. Fightings, and then the dark Pokemon. Ooh. Crobat, one of the best in the set. Grimmsnarl, a Ternatus, a Ternatus VMAX. Very good card as well. So yeah, I find it really cool how she's done this. We're gonna get to the full arts in a moment. Here we are at the full arts, baby. Let's have a quick look at these. All of the full arts, completed, 100%. Shout out to my mum. Shout out to Pokemon. But the secrets as well. Jeez, the VMAX rainbows, Chairman Rose, the gold cards, look at this. And then she doesn't stop there, guys. She goes straight into the reverse hollows. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like on this video for my mum. Right, so we've seen that. Where are my cards? I gotta find my cards now. All right, so apparently my cards are somewhere up here. What is this? Bro, we've got a Charmeleon from base set just chilling here. What the hell? I'll take these back. We've got first edition energies. We've got first edition gym challenge. <laughs> Yo. All right, well, this tin's coming back home with me. Bro, that's first edition. It's Donnie's first mind hacksaws. Well, is that one of my decks? See, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. I used to love Yu-Gi-Oh, but I kind of forgot everything about it. Yo, I got this one to give me a crash course on Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Okay, and then we have some cards that I used to love to bits. I used to love these. We've got Dragon Ball Z cards, man. Dragon Ball Z cards. Look at that hollow. Yo, Super Saiyan Trunks. Yo, we should grade these, man. Wait, leave a like in this video and a comment down below if you want me to grade some of these Dragon Ball cards. Mm, some Edgeware, probably like a 7 or 8, probably. Raw, what's this one? Let's see, we've got Goku, Gohan. Go 10? Is it go 10? Yeah, these are sick. I gotta go through these at some point. I gotta take these back to London and go through them. Guys, this is the box. Are you ready? You ready for this? Oi, hey, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We've got a CP6, man. CP6. I'll put a picture on screen right now what these are selling for on eBay. I'm pretty sure it's something like 500 plus. Evolution's now going for 500 plus as well. Got all these cards, man. We've got Southern Island, the Southern Island binder. Come on, there's nothing in it. We've got a Majestic Lugia though. Oh my gosh, these are just CP6 commons, man. We've got packs of <laughs> packs of Evolutions bulk. Yo, I wonder if we've got any Charmanders in there, man. They're probably gonna be worth like two grand one day, <laughs> the way things are going right now. Steam Siege XY, the best set of all time. Oi, oi, got some full arts. Full arts Steelix, God of War EX, yo, Volcanion EX. Mega God of War, Magiana as well. I wonder what the condition of this is like. It's XY, so it's probably not very really good. I'd love to get a 10 in all these like gold XY era full arts. Oh, sorry, that's a secret actually. That's a secret rare. Alakazam, Mega Alakazam, Umbreon, love that. And there we have it, baby. The secret rare Alakazam, love this card. Look at that, Mr. Spoonman. There's my Lugia EX. Oh my, I didn't complete it. I didn't complete Ancient Origins. We've got Primal Kyogre EX right there. Big man like Tarantar and Lugia. I remember this as well. I remember putting a post on Instagram saying, why is the condition so bad of XY? Because this is not a good grade. Straight out of a booster pack, man. Joke, man. Joke. But I'll take this back anyway at some point. Oh, Mewtwo Gold Star, man. I sold this. I predicted a PSA 9 or a 10. It got a 10 and I sold it. Trico Gold Star came like a 9. I sold that. Dark Alakazam. Misty Seedra. Alakazam. Oh, gosh. Why did I sell that Mewtwo? And I guess, now that we've been down that memory lane, it's time to head back home and get ready for this box break. Rah. That's why we that's why we love Pokemon, right? Our childhood, I guess. There's been a development, ladies and gentlemen. Something has happened. I will reveal when I get to London, okay? Something exciting's happened. And at this point, it's an addiction. Be right back. Jeez, there we go. <laughs> the final surprise. Right. Let's go. What's your name again? 
It's Harry, boss. Harry, let's I'm go. I'm joking, it's Charlie. Oh, okay. Charles. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, I don't know how to do this one, you know. I don't know how to open it or like box break it. I have no idea. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece, definitely. It is, it is, for sure. So guys, yes, as you just saw, I did end up picking up another booster box, another vintage booster box, this time an EX Fire Red Leaf Green booster box. And I love this set, okay? It's one of my favorite sets out there. I love the EX era as well. That was when I was growing up. Obviously, don't, don't get me wrong, like I was growing up during the What's the era, the basic era, but I was like six years old. So when these boxes came out, the EX boxes, I was more like in my own, you know what I'm saying? I was like starting to become my own person and uh, develop my own interests. So I love this box right here. And that's why I don't know what to do with it. So I purchased this box to do another box break next week after Jungle. But when I saw it, when I held it in my hands, I just... I thought, you know what, I would really like to open this myself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think I should open this and sell it to you guys on a live stream? Or do you think I should open it, keep the cards myself, get them graded and see if I can add some cards into my collection. Because as you guys know, I'm collecting EX cards. I've got the Venusaur, Bulbasaur in PSA 9. I'm looking for the Charizard baby and there might be a Charizard in this box, Charizard EX. So yeah, just let me know. I think I, uh, I was talking to Laura as well and I was asking Laura, what do you think? And usually when you talk to Laura, she gives you the uh, smartest answer or the most sensible answer, which would usually be keep it, sell it, make sure you get some money back, you know, make sure you make some content on it. But she actually said, open it. So I'm leaning towards that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And obviously I'll still record it. I'll still post it on here on the channel. Probably like a two part series hunting for the EX cards. So yeah, let me know. But what a box, man. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I also just kind of want to keep it sealed. But guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. A nice little vlog where I go and pick up some booster boxes. I say little vlog. This is a huge vlog, man. It's like $20,000 combined. But guys, make sure you're ready for the box break this Saturday, 2 p.m. The first ever Pokemon break. I can't wait for it. Packs available. Jungle packs available tonight night at 6 p.m. And also, being as I'm not going to be opening this one next week, and I need to find a new box for next week as well. So if you're interested and you have one, randolphcollect at gmail.com to get in touch with me. Pretty much any vintage box at this point I'm looking to open and uh, do box breaks of. So yeah, I'm excited. Make sure you're ready. I'm nervous as well. Saturday, it's going to be big. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next Pokemon upload. For now though, take care and peace out. Thank you for the support. You guys are amazing.